Hi, welcome to my channel White Ravens Cauldron. This evening I'm reading for Cancer, so this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, but cross watchers, you're welcome to you as well. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but I also do suggest that you go check out what other placements you've got in your ast astrology chart and then come back and check the videos that I've got up on the channel because you may get more clarification. But as usual, take what resonates from this reading and leave the rest. It is not for you. Don't try and make it fit. This is for February 14th through to the 28th. But time is fluid, so maybe something here from the past still affecting your present. Or the energies just haven't played out yet. I do always put a time stamp or date stamp on the videos um, just for the purposes of the channel. But sometimes these can play out before, during or after. So I do always say to people to pop back after a few weeks just to see if things have changed. Okay, what is coming towards Cancer for me, Spirit? What is coming towards Cancer, February 14th through to the 28th? Okay. Challenges or issues, please, is Cancer dealing with first card out? Wow, so we've got two cards and I don't normally take them, but straight away, Spirit said yes, take them. We've got the High Priestess and we've also got the Four of Wands reversed. Okay, the High Priestess, she does carry a Cancerian energy. She's very psychic, very intuitive. She has a sense of situations, people. She can read things very easily. This is somebody who knows things. But unfortunately, as much as it's a gift, it's also a curse. Because she knows things, she has to wait for proof of something. She can't just go and start you know, throwing out information to all who needs to hear. Because she needs something to back it up. So a lot of the times, she has a lot of issues sat on her chest. And she has to wait to free this information. Now, with the Four of Wands reversed, <clears throat> this is either a separation in the home, the family unit, or somebody feels like something's fallen apart or it's going to fall apart, it's not going to last. There's a, there's a feeling of being very unsettled. It doesn't quite feel homely or secure. Something, some, Somebody feels very insecure about something. And their intuition is trying to tell them Something's not right, but for whatever reason, they're not paying attention. Hmm, so you could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's definitely an unsettled feeling at home right now. Very unsure, very vulnerable. This could also be a relationship that's unfortunately fallen apart. It's almost like somebody's gained, gained their wings in a relationship and decided to go solo because things just weren't working out. Let's get some advice from Spirit regarding this. Can you have some advice from Spirit, please, regarding this for Cancer? Advice from Spirit. Could be a divorce, separation, family separation, concerns over stability, security. Some advice, please, Spirit. Show me some advice. Wow, the Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, you all know what this card means. I know simply because the High Priestess is here, you listen to a lot of tarot card readings. You're, you could maybe actually do your own tarot card readings because you watch that many of the videos. Someone's been sneaky trying to get away with something. Now, sometimes this, well, not sometimes, this is normally always somebody that you know or within your circle. Somebody may be actually trying to split the family up. Some of you may be concerned that somebody's trying to split the family up or they're taking something away from the family, from the family unit. Being deceptive, being selfish. This person's been around quite a while. And they know exactly what they've been doing with their behaviour. They've just been very sneaky about it, thinking nobody could see, nobody knew what was going on when 
somebody knew all along what was going on. They just couldn't say anything because they didn't want to be the reason to break a family up. Wow, that was very powerful. So you've become aware of this. So the Cancer is aware of this now, Spirit. What's the outcome? What's the outcome, please? I'm going to clarify these cards just to get some more information. What's the outcome, please, Spirit? Wow, death reversed. Now underneath, it didn't fall out, but it was underneath, with the, was the King of Swords, Libra Gemini, uh, Knight of Swords, sorry, Libra Gemini Aquarius again. The death reversed is a very, very difficult change. Someone's going through a very difficult change, a very difficult transition. Struggling, somebody's struggling with change. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Someone's, it's almost like someone's sick of the ship. They've had enough. Changes need to be made, but somebody's finding it difficult. Hmm. Can we have a clarifier card, please? Clarifier card for cancer. The hermit. Well, the hermit is just like the high priestess, but a male version. Could be dealing with a Virgo. This is needing to go quiet. Going within yourself. Getting some space. Taking some time out. This is like taking a back seat with things. You're very, very aware of the sneaky, deceptive behaviour, what lies in front of you. But you're seeking knowledge, you're gaining knowledge, you're gaining confidence before, before it's your turn to strike, by the looks of it. Right, let's clarify these cards, because I hate doing the first readings just off one card. I always think we need more information than what's on the table. Um, not a lot of readers do this, but... I do like to, to clarify. Okay. Let's clarify the four of wands reversed. What's the four of wands reversed? Straight out. Page of swords. So yes, yeah, somebody is definitely being sneaky, being deceptive. The page of swords is saying somebody needs to start taking information, jotting information, making notes. Somebody's taking notes of something. This is a messenger. Messages, phone calls, emails, something being delivered. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius again. What's the Seven of Swords, please? Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Nine of Swords reversed. So this person has caused nothing but nightmares. Absolute chaos in someone's mind. Anxiety, nightmares, not being able to sleep, not being able to function. This is somebody who is suffering with this person's shit. So this person is bringing chaos into this situation and someone has not been sleeping they've not been doing very well whatsoever major depression major depression what's the death reverse please someone's also scared or anxious of something extremely scared or anxious well that just flipped upside down but went back so we've got the knight of wands reverse so someone's got a very very malicious temper very angry very childish stubborn isn't willing to see somebody else's point of view, but this is somebody not letting somebody move on, not letting somebody transition. It's a very, very selfish attitude, very childish. Likes to make false promises. What? This is somebody who lives off their ego. For, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Can you clarify the hermit, please? There we go. Eight of Wands, information. We've got lots of information coming in. I think this is what this overall reading is saying. Don't act. Just start taking in all the information that's happening. Just take a stand back and watch everything unfold. Because you already know what tricks or stunts this person's going to pull. So it's asking you to keep your mouth shut and your ears open. Because when it's your time to strike, you are going to have the best information. Wow. Can I have a final outcome, please? A final outcome for cancer. The tower reversed. Yeah. Shocking, oh my goodness me, shocking major losses, permanent losses. And it's caused a ricochet effect. Like this has been going on for quite some time now. And there's a lot of universal energy at play here with the high priestess in the tower. This is the universe involved. Like we've seen enough, we've had enough. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy again. Whatever's going on, this situation will be victorious for the right person. The victim in this, four of cups reversed. Too many opportunities have been missed because of this individual. This individual has been taken for a very, very long time. There's going to be some positive news coming in about money, finances, 
things are going to start getting better. You have one more card for final outcome. One more card for a final outcome. Even though there's been major loss and betrayal, there's there's money coming in and someone is about to get their karma. Someone is about to get their just desserts for everything that they've caused within this family. Someone has definitely tried to split a family apart and it's not worked. It's not worked. Can I have a monology card please for cancer? Wow, <laughs> what do you need to release? Wow, that is um, that is an absolutely perfect card for this for this reading. Like this is um, this is crazy, absolutely crazy. I can't believe we've got that card. So this this is speaking about moving forward with as little resistance as possible. It's not the time to start fresh new projects. Some of you maybe have got a lot of heavy responsibilities right now. This is talking about releasing emo emotional baggage and it's recommended to do this now. Say sorry to someone or someone needs to say sorry to you out of a way. You need to do some energetic work such as meditation, yoga, something that's going to come in handy for relaxation when you feel like your anxiety is kicking in. Soon you're going to see what lies ahead. Everything is going to be revealed. And this is when you, the high priestess energy comes into play. This is when you've got what you need to show the world everything that you've known for a long, long time. And there's going to be some important decisions made. But there's good things coming in here, Cancer. Hold tight. Keep your barriers up. Protect those around you. And I will see you all again soon.